good afternoon sir good afternoon everyone so uh, we are going to uh, presenting erp enterprise uh, resource planning so my name is vitam mondal uh, our other uh, teammates are uh, koushik guha uh, songita mukherjee and shomi das next so uh, here are our uh, contents of um, our presentation next card so uh, introduction so uh, enterprise resource planning uh, is a type of uh, software that uh, organizations use to uh, manage and automate various business processes uh, such as ac accounting human resources and supply chain management uh, this system typically uh, integrate multiple functions and uh, data across and organizations into a single uh, system allowing for more efficient and effective management of business operations erp system are commonly used by large organization and but uh, they can also used by uh, small and medium sized businesses next so a brief history of erp uh, the concept of enterprise resource planning uh, system can be traced back to the uh, 1960s and 1970s when large manufacturers uh, uh, began using computer system to automate and manage their production process this early uh, early systems were uh, primarily focused of manufacturing and were known as uh, material equipment planning uh, and uh, in the uh, in the 1980s mrp system uh, evolved the manufacturing resource planning uh, and which added the capability to manage other businesses functions such as accounting and human resources and uh, in the 90s uh, the term enterprise resource planning uh, was first uh, coined uh, and these systems were further developed to integrate a wider range of business functions such as finance logistic and customer relationship management so uh, some uh, some key fundamentals of erps so uh, first centralized database uh, an erp system will typically uh, have a centralized database that uh, stores all of the data uh, for an organization's various business processes and this allows for easy access to the uh, data across different departments departments and uh, functions second modular design <coughs> uh, many erp systems are uh, modular in design uh, meaning that uh, they can be customized to meet the specific needs uh, of an organization different modules can be added to or removed as needed uh, depending on the organization's requirement third automation erp system automate many businesses process reducing the need of uh, manual data entry and uh, reducing the chances of errors the third, fourth uh, uh, real time data erp system provided real time data which allows organization to uh, make faster and more informed decision uh, further will be uh, discussed by uh, i think who for me huh? thank you ritam good afternoon sir good afternoon everyone so i am going to discuss about what is erp fundamental erp systems are designed uh, next slide please sorry 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 sir. what are erp uh, next slide ha uh, what are erp modules erp modules are applications dedicated to certain business function and processes and uh, all modules are integrated with the erp system central database so there is a single source of accurate data the most common erp modules include financial management human resource management supply chain management customer relationship management and manufacturing erp system can also be include additional modules for specific industries such as healthcare retail and government next slide please how do erp modules helping business growth so basically erp is a ubiquitous in businesses of all sizes the modular design of erp provides data and supports the processes that help employees manage and uh, uh, employees manage and uh, their daily tasks there are some basic modules of erp software such as finance and accounting human capital management procurement manufacturing order management inventory management warehouse management supply chain management crm and e-commerce so basically finance and accounting is more uh, this module allows manufacturers to understand the current financial state and future outlook of the organization human capital management this module promotes an approach for managing recruiting and developing human resources procurement also known as purchasing this module helps us organization manage and safeguard goods required to manufacture or sell products 
manufacturing is the first version of ERP was designed for manufacturers. MRP or material requirement planning was the earliest version of ERP. And order management. It provides a single platform to manage orders from all sales channels from receipt to delivery. Inventory management allows manufacturers to gain real-time inventory information and manage all aspects of the business on one platform. Warehouse management manages high volume warehouse operation and guides employees throughout the operation. Supply chain management tracks every step in the supply chain process. CRM helps manufacturers manage the customer life cycle from initial contact to sales, production and post-sale maintenance and support services. And last but not the least, e-commerce module integrated with ERP software provides a feature rich e-commerce platform from B2B and B2C manufacturers. Next slide please. This is how the cycle is going through by step by step. Next slide. What is ERP deployment? ERP or Enterprise Resource Planning deployment is the process of ensuring that the ERP system is operationally acceptable. <laughs> like I said, each of ERP deployment has its pros and cons and you should carefully evaluate which one fits your needs and budget the most. Next slide please. Why ERP deployment important? ERP deployment is one of the most important aspects of ERP project. The right ERP deployment will determine the way how we will maintain our ERP system. Next slide. There are the types, there are three types of ERP deployment. First one is cloud ERP. Second one is on premises ERP and third one is hybrid ERP. What is Cloud ERP? Cloud ERP is also called SaaS ERP is hosted and managed in an off-site server typically managed by ERP vendor. There are some pros in Cloud ERP such that data security is in the hands on the vendor, offer great stability and continuous updates from the vendor because of less customization, typically less time to implement and faster time to go live with the system. Next slide please. Second one is on-premises ERP. The second type of ERP deployment is on-premises ERP. An on-premises ERP system is a solution that is controlled and managed by your own IT infrastructure. Many organizations find ERP solutions on-premises more suitable as on-premise ERPs put more control in the hands of the organization. There are some pros of having on-premises ERP system such that reduce the initial price of the system, data security is in the hands of the organization, greater ability to customize. Next slide please. Third one is hybrid ERP. The third type of ERP deployment is hybrid ERP. It is a combination of both cloud and on-premises ERP. Therefore, companies integrate cloud ERP solutions to further extend their ERP capabilities like e-commerce, CRM, collaboration tools and others. There are so many hybrid ERP benefits. Thus, uh, these are the flexibility of choosing where data will be stored, whether on cloud or on premises. The organization's workload is contained within a private cloud while retaining the ability to spontaneously increasing their workload. Next slide please. Next slide will be discussed by my friend Shungita. Sir. Previous slide please. please. So as uh, good afternoon sir. I am Shungita Mukherjee. As for now we have got some idea about what actually enterprise resource process is. So here we are going to uh, see some real life businesses which actually implemented ERP and got benefited from the process. Next slide please. So the first case is about NNN moving, uh, moving supplies which is a family non distributor of moving equipment and supplies. Uh, it successfully implemented an ERP system after expanding from one location in Georgia to three locations in multiple states and more than quadrupling its workforce. 
running on QuickBooks and a third party payroll provider, it was nearly impossible to keep accurate time records and reconcile payroll with general ledger accounts. In an end turn to the ERP to manage its accounting and pay payroll process during the implementation of this process for NetSuite ERP, NNN worked with our NetSuite partner to add a real-time solution to the main system. By implementing NN, uh, ERP, NNN was able to reduce the payroll process time by 84%, balancing account faster, improving the accuracy of hours and vacation time counts, see labor cost trends across its three locations, give employees access to personalized ERP dashboard at each of its site. So, uh, above NNN uh, case study notes to another major implementation success factor of ERP, that is managing employees model. ERP project often fails when excess and other employees don't feel a sense of buying in. By providing personalized dashboard and ideally explaining their benefits to the employee, before the implementation, in and in avoid this pitfall. The case study also shows that a third party partner can be helpful in tailoring the ERP system to precisely fit your company's needs. Next slide, please. So, the next uh, case study is about two friends who launch a candy wholesale business. They ran into a problem of shipping milk from chocolate bars during summer months. So uh, they have developed a heat sensitive supply chain and uh, then other food companies turn to them for help. The duo rebranded as a Green Rabbit, a supply chain logistic provider specializing in fast delivery to off perishable goods. That shift in strategy tested the company's current processes which relied on QuickBooks, Excel and email. Green Rabbit's multiple database could not communicate with one another, making real-time data analysis impossible. The warehouse was often waiting on help from the IT team too. So, by implementing ERP, Green Rabbit was able to help customers ship candy, snacks and more across the country in 24 hours from one of the three uh, different warehouses without inventory errors. It now delivers tens of thousands of orders per days without delays, get a guaranteed error-free data from its ERP system instead of risking errors from manually entered data. Now it could triple its uh, order volume if desired without impacting to its system. So, um, the key takeaway from above a case study is that when implemented correctly, ERP makes it easier to manage a complicated supply chain as Green Rabbit's case study shows us. ERP is pivotal to uh, growth. Green Rabbit implemented ERP after it grew substantially and because it anticipated further expansion. Next slide, please. So as for now, we got the idea that ERP, uh, implementing ERP means overcoming obstacle for the uh, businesses. So two commonly uh, cha common challenges business face in order to implement ERP are choosing right, uh, choosing the right vendor and getting employee to support the change. Companies should uh, should choose a vendor that has experience with your company's vertical type product or service and size. It can provide a hands-on demo, understands the uh, tax laws and regulation that apply to your businesses and it, it is sure to be in the business for at least five years. Uh, for the employees, as mentioned, team may resist the transition to the ERP if you don't show them why the new system will be helpful to them. Explain how ERP will make uh, each team's uh, every, everyday tasks easier before the implementation begins and ensure plenty of time for training during the process. And further will be uh, proceed by coaching. Thank you, Sangeeta. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Here I am discuss about 
I do ERP implementation fail. ERP implementation can fail for variety of reasons, including insufficient of planning and project management, lack of user in buy buying, inadequate data migration, customization error, insufficient of training, insufficient of planning and project management falling falling to fulfill fulfill fully understand the scope and the requirement of the project it can lead, lead to delay and budget if someone is planning that a project a project was big and they are not managing it fully then the ERP was fail lack of user buy in if employee do not understand or agree with the uh, agree with the need for the ERP system, then they may resist using it, which can be negatively impact overall success. Then is data migration. If data is transferred to new ERP uh, to new ERP from old old system, if the system was not accurate or does not work properly or the format is not correct correctly implemented then it was functionally failed then in the customization error customization customizing the ERP system to fit the specific need of organization can be time consuming or complex for the employee if it was done correctly then is it oh, it is okay but it is it was not correctly done then it can be uh, a big problem mm. so it can lead by the system error and the additional cost to the company then is the insufficient of training employee need a proper training to use the ERP system effectively if the company does not give the training to uh, how to use the ERP, ERP system uh, how to run the software or something, then the system was failed. That is the conclusion of the uh, of enterprise resource planning. Enterprise resource planning is bring many benefit to the organization surface, such as improved efficiency, better decision making, and saving the cost. However, the implementation of ERP system ERP system can be complex and challenging process ERP <coughs> to ensure that the successful implementation uh, implementation organization should, should carefully plan and manage the project involve the employee in the process uh, properly migrate the data properly customize the system and pro provide the through the provide through a uh, training uh, it is a better choice uh, with, with the right approach and ERP system can be a valuable tool for the organization. I have some questions about the uh, ERP. First one is the material required planning MRP uh, utilize software application for scheduling and the answer is the uh, number two the production process. Second was the ERP support which which currency value uh, uh, the answer is the first one multiple third one is the ERP package will handle the business functionality which, which type of business functionality and the answer is the fourth one is that is all all of these and last one is the most uh, the most important step of the ERP implementation and that is the third one which is gap gap analysis thank you sir thank you very good presentation thank you all best